everybody, it's Mara here with another how-to tutorial with Mix. I have a couple of people that have been asking some questions um, from one of the videos that I posted a little while ago, like how to do certain things. Uh, one of my members here uh, asked, how do you get, um, let me see if I can see his name here. Um, KGF was asking, so if I have the Mix software and no other equipment set up, how do I set it up to cue the music in my headphones separately from the music coming from the computer speakers? Okay, so I'm going to address this. Now, the headset that I currently use is just a regular like $35 headset that I got from Amazon. Uh, I'm in Canada, so uh, my prices are going to be a little bit differently, but I think it was like $34.99 or $34.97 Canadian. Um, so that, uh, it's a regular 3.5 millimeter jack that I plugged into the headphone jack on my laptop. That was it. Um, it does have a microphone on it, but because I use a somewhat professional microphone microphone with a uh, female XLR to USB with a whole boom mic arm attached to my table here for my DJing and for my videos and stuff, uh, I, the microphone on my headset doesn't actually work. So um, this is what you got to do to be able to cue the music up in your headsets. In your settings, okay, you're going to go to options at the very top, click on preferences, preferences, and you're going to go at the very top and click on sound hardware, output. You want to make sure you're on your output, okay? The master, this is how I have mine set up. I'm going to assume this is how you guys would have it set up as well. I don't know. But this is how I have it set up, and this is how it works for me. So your master primary sound driver, make sure that's selected. Don't select anything in here. Primary sound driver, channel one. Headphones, primary sound driver. Again, ignore all this. Primary sound driver, channel two. That's how I have it set up. I click, you click apply, and OK. I'm going to click cancel because I didn't change anything. I don't want to mess anything up. So now I'm going to show you guys something. So I actually have, I actually have a DJ deck. Uh, I work with a pioneer DDJ SB three, which was bought to me by a friend of mine, bought for me for, uh, by a friend of mine last year for my birthday, uh, April, my birthday is April 3rd. And, uh, so it was bought for me in uh, April. Th I got it. I actually received it April 1st. I thought it was an April Fool's joke when I opened up the box and I saw the, the deck box. I was like, what the heck? So I opened up the deck box and sure enough, there was a brand new Pioneer DGJ SB3 sitting in there. And I was like, what? So yeah, I actually work with a deck um, uh, with my settings and stuff. So you can like see everything kind of like fiddling around here and I'm not using my mouse for this, but I'm going to show you, I'll be working with a mouse today to kind of make it a little bit easier for you guys, for those of you who don't have a deck. So um, when you want to queue up another song, uh, as you can see, I'm, I've got like two completely opposite types of music. I've got dark wave, new wave, post punk on the left, and I've got the weekend X <laughs> have a sick mix on the right. All right. So what you do is this, you're playing your song. Okay. I'm going to actually see if I can turn this down just a little bit. Cause it's going to be really loud. All right. So you're going to have, you're going to have this playing in both. I can hear it in both. Okay. Now, to be for this to work, you can't have you can't have this in the middle because if you hit play, guess what's going to happen? You're going to you and everybody else in the room is going to hear both songs playing at the same time. You don't want that. So what you want and this is good for beat matching, finding the right point of the next song that you want to start it at, all that kind of stuff. So you want to make sure if you're listening to the track on the left that this meters all the way to the left. Now, if the track on the right is playing, you want to make sure it's all the way to the right. I've made this, when I first started using Mix, I made this mistake all the time and it really messed up my sets. I was like, ah, whatever. <laughs> Just gonna laugh it off and move on to the next thing. So this is what you do. You want to cube the next song. So <sighs> say this is, I'm going to actually eject this. Say there's nothing in here. I'm going to be like, all right, click and hold down the left mouse button and drag and drop and let go. Boom. That's how you cue the next song. Okay. Now, if you want to actually hear it, when you hit play, I can now hear in my right side of my headphones, my headset that I'm wearing, I can now hear this song playing. And what it gives me a chance to do is it gives me a chance to like, actually cue it up. Okay, I don't like this, but I'm going to start it here. 
Say, I got the beat coming up. So if I, so click on here and see how, see these lines here? I'm gonna kind of like do this because I have a jog wheel. I'm gonna sync it up right on beat, right? So this allows me to do that and cue it up and fiddle around with it. Yeah, so there, that's how you cue it up. So I can actually hear it my right side, but nobody else can. Nobody else can hear it, only I can. So that's kind of, that's the really cool part of it. Now, what you can do is you can now, I'm gonna do this, watch this. And you can now fade out, okay? Now, I'm gonna sit there and hit play, and I'm gonna slowly start fading. from one song to another. I can now hear this first song playing on my right side, but I can hear Weekend and it's playing in both. If I hit stop, now I can hear nothing but the Weekend and now the mix by Sick X. It's really great. This is how you queue up your songs. Now, for some of us, I mean, for some of my videos, I use Auto DJ. Sorry, I'm gonna turn this down a bit. Uh, some of my songs I use, uh, like some of my mixes, I use Auto DJ when I'm like doing videos uh, for tutorials of a virtual community that I'm in uh, 3DX. So that's where this comes into play. When you click on Enable Auto DJ, it automatically queues everything up and all of that fun stuff. That'll be another video, but this is how you officially do a cube of the song. So let's let's do this one more time. So we're gonna remove this by clicking the eject button here. See. Haha, -ha, tooltips works great. Click on inject. So you got your first song here playing along. Now you gotta make sure, see the mistake I made? I can hear this playing on the right side, but guess what? I don't hear it on the left. That means nobody's gonna hear it. So swing it over here. Now I can hear it in both sides, left and right. And in order for that to happen, go to preferences. This is how I have mine set up. Click on sound hardware down here. Make sure for the output tab, you have the master set to primary sound driver, channel one. For the headphones, primary sound driver, channel two. Click apply, click on okay, and you're done. Now, we're gonna queue up the next song. Now, when you if you're currently playing a song, you can just double click the next one. Uh, let's do. Double click it and it automatically jumps it up to the next available spot, which for this one is here. So then say you want to queue it up and you want to find out where you want to start the song. See, I can hear it now playing in the right hand side, but nobody else can hear it. It's really cool. It's really handy. And I'm like, okay, this is the next song. It's going to sound great. Okay, yeah, let's do that. So let's jump here. This is what we're going to do. There's like three minutes left. Okay, so we're gonna go to like the last minute. So we're gonna go back here and just to kind of show you guys how this works. I'm gonna kind of like, so 35 seconds. We're gonna wait until we got about 20 seconds left. And this is how you mix from one song to the extra. There we go. So now your crowd will hear Gunship Hegemon start up. But in my headphones, I could hear on the right side the Dark Wave, New Wave, post punk mix that I was playing. And on the, and in the left side, I could hear Gunship. But now that this song has stopped playing, this, this mix has stopped playing, I can hear both playing Gunship. That's how you cue it up. And that is another how to tutorial by Mara Winterhide from. 3DX chat. Hope you guys found this tutorial really entertaining and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And once again, I will try to get back to them as quickly as possible. Hopefully not five months from now. Do apologize for the late reply.